Set the file size for Mac OS X files to 10 megabytes. So all Mac OS X files that pass through the firewall are sent to Wildfire for inspection. You can tune the maximum size setting and observe whether there's enough buffer space to handle a higher limit. Each firewall model has a different disk buffer size for forwarding to Sandbox. Increasing the maximum Mac OS X file size limit may affect forwarding capacity in terms of the number of files the firewall can forward. So it's possible that not all files will be forwarded to Wildfire if multiple big zero-day files are processed at the same time. You have been redirected to the BPA Plus wizard either from a BPA report or from the Get Help section. You can provide feedback directly to the BPA Plus configuration wizard team by clicking on the feedback link on the left side of the tool. The first step is to select Browse Files and upload the latest tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue the next step in the process. Click Next. This screen is to let you know how to set up the PanOS CLI. We also recommend that you create a backup of your existing configuration before you start making any configuration changes on your firewall. Along with the recommended best practice commands, BPA Plus Wizard will also provide a set of commands to take a backup of your existing configuration. Click Next. The list here shows the failed BPA checks. For the purpose of this demo, we will remediate the Mac OS X file size limit best practice check. Click Next. This displays the Mac OS X file size limit at the top. It says, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your configuration. By default, the screen will show the best practice settings. The settings highlighted in light blue are the settings that are being changed to adhere to best practices. If you click on existing setting, you will see the setting that you have in your configuration. You will see a note at the top that says, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice setting for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. When you choose to use the existing settings for any failed best practice check, a numbered badge appears in increments in the left-hand wizard panel next to the best practice check category. This failed best practice check will not be remediated. You want to take action against the failed best practice check. So we will click the best practice setting and click next. The next section is the generate set commands. At the top, you can see a download all commands button. And this is useful if you're remediating multiple best practice checks and you want to download a file with all the recommended best practice commands. Below is the list of the best practice recommended commands along with the commands to take a backup of your existing configuration. Now we'll click copy commands. The next step is to open an SSH session to the firewall. Paste the commands into the CLI. There are no warnings so we are good to perform a commit operation. You can see that the configuration has been successfully committed. The next step is to verify if the committed settings were applied to the firewall. We'll go to our firewall under Device, click Setup, then click Wildfire. Under General Settings, we can now see Mac OS X is set to 10 megabytes. This will ensure the best practice check passes. This concludes the demo.